so I think back to this art from time to time, and I try to process how absolutely ridiculous it was. Imagine your favorite streamer telling you when you tip them to put a code word in your tip so I know exactly who you are. It's not good enough that I'm already giving you money just to play video games. It's not good enough that I'm already terrified of your detractors, that I'm tipping under anonymous and fake names. It's not good enough that you keep having all these emergencies and we keep having to bail you out. But I also have to remember some stupid code word every single time I tip you. Oh, and by the way, if I don't put that code word in, you're probably going to call me a piece of shit, an impersonator trying to hurt your family, and ban me from being able to tip you again. And if you were here during this time, you know I'm telling the truth. Code words, tip audits, chargebacks, fake tippers. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to watch a fucking video game stream. Not you fumbling around half the time trying to figure all this shit out. This is stuff you should be doing before the stream starts. You should either ignore this stuff when it happens or have a plan in place already. But of course, that's too much to ask for this guy. So I went to Pig Pig Go and I typed in code word and I got like 30 results. Then I typed in code name and I got a lot more. So let's watch the first clip and he's gonna explain why he's doing this. All right, I really recommend and almost, you know, I want to say it's it's pretty much mandatory. Please make a verified PayPal account. All right. Here's why. When you make a verified PayPal account, whenever you send funds, you link your real life information to that to approve your identity to make sure that you are who you say you are. Okay. And the reason that's important to me is because the second half of last year, I had someone who was coming onto my stream regularly, which I didn't realize, and they were sending me fake tips with stolen credit cards. And those all became chargebacks against my PayPal account, which not only took away those tips, but also slammed me with fees and penalties. And it really just really screwed up my business for several months there behind the scenes. There were days when it looked like I was making hundreds of dollars of profit on a stream and I was actually losing hundred dollars of profit because of all the fraud that was happening against me. All right. Now, the good news is those days are behind us. But when you have a verified PayPal account, it now allows me to trust your tip right away. Rather than sitting here on a stream and saying, oh, we got to audit the tips to see if they're real and we got to do all this stuff that derails the stream. If I see that it's verified, I know I can trust it. Okay, so please verify your PayPal account if you can. Thank you to the many, many people who have done so over the last month and a half. In addition to that, if you are regular to my streams and you tip me, you know, regularly, you might want to create a code word. I know that sounds silly because it is, but... It basically would streamline the stream if you have a code word when you tip and you always say that in your tip message to me, then I'll know it's you because I'll read the code words. Like, oh, okay. I see it's the real person. Now I can trust it and I know they have a verified account. So good, good stuff. All right. That code word will never get out. It's only between you and me and it allows me to verify your identi identity immediately. All right. So if you want to tip me and your code word stinky socks, it works. I'll know stinky socks means it's a legit tip. You see what I mean? So please consider it. If you are a regular who tips a lot, it'll help out. All right? All right. Uh, excuse me. It's disgusting. Very nice. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I have absolutely no news to talk about yet again. Yes, yet again. Imagine that you have absolutely nothing to talk about, Phil. Now this, this shocks me. But he said, if you're a regular to my streams and a person that tips me regularly, you might want to create a code word. Phil. This is what got you into this mess in the first place, relying on a small handful of people for most of your income. You being so greedy allowed you to trust some brand new person who was just tipping you thousands of dollars in a short amount of time and you didn't even bat an eye. Then you wanna turn around and play victim because it was too good to be true. Well, you get what you deserve. So he says this anonymous person was tipping over and over using fake credit cards and that all of it ended up getting charged back, which caused them to lose a lot of money. Now, I've talked about this before on another video, and I really do believe that this happened. I don't believe it exactly the way he says it, but I did go over the bank leaks and I found some really sketchy payments to PayPal, like huge payments that line up around the time he was talking about major chargebacks. He then goes on to say, those days are behind us. Well, how do you know that, Phil? How do you know the boogeyman isn't watching your stream right now, waiting to do it again? Maybe I was the fake tipper, Phil. Maybe I'm going to do it again starting tonight. There's really no way to tell. So let's go to the next clip, and he's going to explain it a little more. But I also have a treat for you. 
you're going to see a live tip audit in progress. Okay, so wow, actually a bunch of contributions came in here. All right. They all came in at once too. So hold on a second here. So all these contributions just came in. Get ready for this. First of all, uh, Silent Bob returned to the stream after I haven't seen him in about a week and did a $37 tip. Thank you to Silent Bob for a $37 tip. That's the biggest tip of the day. That just came in. So that gets us to $61 in tips. Okay. Then, Joyful Oblivion tipped me sixteen dollars thirty cents as a subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Who said? Who said that? I always forget. What streamer was it that said that? It certainly wasn't me. Thank you for that. So that that brings us up to seventy-seven dollars in tips with that Joyful Oblivion tip. All right. Then, I gotta confirm this one. I wanna make sure this one's legit. It is 100 Gex to me $6.73 and get $6.72 off the leaderboard, please. Well, the good news is he is off the leaderboard anyway because those other tips that had just come in. But I thank you for, the, for that tips. That's another $6. So that gets us up to $83 in tips. Oh, wait a minute. What is this now? I got to see if this is legit or not. <laughs> this might be legit. I'm not sure. We'll find out in a second. Uh... Well, it's going to have to wait because my PayPal isn't updating. Let's play for a little bit. A big tip might have come in, but I can't confirm because it didn't show up yet. So once it shows up, I'll let you guys know if it's legit or not. And by the way, I will say this. Thank you to, to you guys. Oh, what's that? A flower? Thank you to you guys who are contributing. I strongly recommend if you're a regular who tips, please, I would say, think of a code word and say it in your tip message. That way I know it's you. Perfect example right now. Tip just came in from someone who's a regular, but I don't know if this is real or not or someone impersonating them and fucking with me. So I can't count it until it shows up in PayPal, but it's not showing up yet, so I have to wait. See? <clears throat> okay. Unbelievable. A tip just came in from a regular, but I don't know if I can trust it or not. Imagine even saying those words. Oh, and then he said, let's play for a little bit while he's waiting on his PayPal to update. Yeah, I thought that's what you were supposed to do on a video game stream, fucking regard. But he also got a $37 tip from Silent One Minute Man. Where you been, buddy? You got doxxed and then just ran away, pussy? He's still there tipping under fake names. These losers don't just disappear. But then some other regard tips and says, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. And Phil conveniently can't remember who said it. He just knows it wasn't him. Well, it was your twin brother, Wings of Redemption, idiot. So let's go over to the next clip, and it's a short one, but you're going to see a live code word in action. All right, uh, Jackalees, I believe you just tipped me. I want to verify that. Let's see here. I can actually, I should be able to tell from here, actually. Of course, you're here. Jackalees, are you here on the stream? Yes, this is real. Jackalee just tipped me five dollars thirty cents. Thank you very much. And yes, he did use a code word, so I will use that from now on. Thank you, Jackalee, to know that it's really you. Thank you. <laughs> Good, awesome. Thank you for the tip, Jackalee. Thank you for the tip, Jackalee. By the way, where you been, buddy? And did you also see Battle Duck up there? I guarantee you, these fucking losers are still tipping him today. They're honestly lucky that I've lost interest in a lot of this stuff. Otherwise, I'd go expose who they are. But it's just a waste of time. They'll start tipping under some other name. So let's go over to the next clip. And you're going to see this doesn't work all the time. In fact, Phil's going to tell them, do not use a code word in your tip. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back to Divinity 2 after the break. we got about 50 minutes left on today's stream. I'm testing something new with my video overlays here on stream. I don't know if the with pop up messages are going to look right or, or I, hopefully it doesn't screw up with sounds and stuff. It might. And if you're going to tip me, do not put anything private like a code word or anything in there right now because it might show text. I don't know. I'm trying all these different things. I don't know if they're going to work or not. So I'm just forewarning everyone. Things on the stream might be a little iffy for the next hour. Okay. Oh, look at this. This one didn't even work. Oh, I know why that didn't work. I know exactly why that didn't work. It's because it was only 50 bits. 50 bit cheers don't show up on the stream. So we have an, uh, an impersonator of only iced coffee that I can now ban. Very nice.
I banned the impersonator. Adam Outlaw just resubscribed for 12 months. And he says, how are things been? I've been on a good, uh, I've been on, in, a, haven't been on in a good while. Hope everything's great. Any chance you play a puppet combo games on PC? They don't require much requirement. Should be able to run them. They're like $2 a game. I don't know anything about them. I mean, it's always a possibility if it's something that people want to see, right? No, still didn't work, as you guys can see. We just got a, t a tip. The animation works, but it shows text. I don't know. I don't want it to show text. Yet it's showing text no matter what I do. I can't seem to disable that. I don't know why. I already told it font of zero, and I told it don't show text, and it showed text anyway. So thank you, Jackalese, for a $5.30 tip. Uh, there's not much I can do about this. It seems like, sadly, in Stream Elements, there's no way to disable the fucking text message, which is incredibly stupid. In Streamlabs, it was very easy to do, and apparently here, there's no way to do it in Stream Elements. So, that sucks. <laughs> well, thank you, Jackalese another tip again you're gonna tell me these people just stop giving them money all of a sudden battle duck murdoch pastryarchy these people are hopeless man and of course there was phil smokes crack on the leaderboard with a 50 dollars tip but phil has to tell them do not use a code word in your message he's using new overlays and he's worried it might pop up and honestly it wouldn't surprise me if timbo was so stupid that he tipped anyways with his code word and it showed up on screen. There was also a fake OIC that he had to ban, so RIP to that good Samaritan. But then somebody asked him if he would play a puppet combo game on PC that they don't require much requirement and they're only like two bucks a game. The more I think about it, the more that sounded like Timbo. But how many times do you have to ask these dumbass questions? He's not gonna play a stupid puppet game. He's not gonna play Jackbox ever again. Hell, He's not even going to finish Divinity 2, which he ripped people off on, by the way. Wasn't that the viewer's choice subscriber goal? And he just threw it away. But he can do that because these people are so stupid and spineless. They let him get away with whatever he wants, no consequences. And as we all know, consequences will never be the same. So let's go into the last clip. And surprise, surprise, Timbo's featured in this one too. Oh, how different life is these days with modern gaming, huh? <laughs> game over. Redo the whole game from the start. Or game over, all the power-up houses regenerate so you can get a crutch. That's a little different. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. Phil Smokes Crack tipped me five dollars. Says I've been a longtime fan. I enjoy getting some food and eating. Eating your stream also in case anyone tries to imitate me. Here's his code name. Alright, great. I don't really understand what your message meant, but I thank you for the support. Regardless, I did get your code, so I know who you are. Thank you. Major Wright did 100 bit cheers of resistance to Chef Boy RD is unthinkable for Phil. There you go. Hey, our good friend Major Riot. And in honor of him, we'll end this video with the massacre that Phil did because Major Riot didn't want to tip through PayPal. But Phil smokes crack, tips, and says, I enjoy getting some food and eating your stream. If somebody's IQ could be negative, it would be this fucking guy. But he also says, here's my code word in case somebody tries to imitate me. Well, don't worry, Timbo, because there's nobody alive that would want to be like you, dumb shit. So that was just a short stroll down memory lane from when DSP was asking people to use code words in their tips. I'm still working on the side scrollers interview part two, so expect that video soon. You can't say I don't have the groove back vibe back because I've been putting up as much edited content as I possibly can. I will talk to y'all in a couple of days. Thank you for sticking with me. And a less a fucking a go. All right. Major right. goodbye. I've had enough of you. I'm seriously had enough of your shit. Get him out of here. I'm tired. I'm trying to play a game and he's in here fucking talking shit again. I'm like, enough of this, dude. Get the fuck out. I can't concentrate on a fucking game with an idiot fucking talking nonsense in my chat. I can't do it. Get the fuck out. Jesus, man. You fucking conspiracy theorist nut jobs, I had enough of you. There's no winning this. Gee, I wonder why I couldn't concentrate. We lost. I wonder why. There. Nosebreaker. Jesus. Had enough. Contact down.
Okay. Here. Get rid of these idiots. We're going to have to weed these idiots out over the next week or so. Since they all want to come in all at once now. <laughs> Fucking morons. All right. We got time for one more game, guys. And hopefully this one I can actually concentrate on and not be distracted by fucking morons. Ugh. Stupid idiots. 